It's now time for a challenge. By now you should understand how basic routes work, how to use parameters and how to send and receive JSON. So we're going to put all of this together and you're going to create your own routes. For this challenge, you're going to create three different routes. The first one will be a route that you can visit at slash date. This will return the current date as a string. One word of warning that may catch you out, if you are using foundation types such as date, you need to import foundation in your file. The second route will be a route at slash counter slash number. This will return the number provided in the route in a JSON response. Finally, the third route will be at slash user hyphen info. This will be a post request which will accept JSON in the request body with a name as a string and the age as an int. You will return a string that says, hello name, you are age. For instance, hello Bob, you are 25. Everything you need to be able to complete this challenge has been covered in the previous videos. So get stuck in and good luck. Okay, now to see how we should do it. Back in Xcode, remember to open up with Vapor Xcode from Terminal if it was closed, head into our roots.swift file. The first challenge route should be really simple to do. Create a new root handler with root.get and we will register it at slash date. Make sure that we import foundation and then we can simply return a date as an interpolated string. Build and run. And then if we visit localhost colon 8080 slash date in the browser, we will see the current date. For the second route, we actually need two separate skills. We need to pull out the counter number as a parameter and then return it as JSON. So let's create our new root handler for counter with router.get counter comma int dot parameter. We can then get the count with Next, we need to create a content struct that we can use to return our count as JSON. So at the bottom, create a new struct called countJSON and make it conform to content. We'll have one property that we return, which will be the count as an int. We can then construct an instance of this in our root handler to return with return countJSON count count. and set the correct return type. Build and run again, and this time we'll head to the rest of the app to send our request. There's not a lot to do for this, we just need to set the URL to localhost colon 8080 slash counter slash 99, and set the method to get. If you have anything left over from the previous videos in your parameters, we can safely delete those, as we don't need them for a get request. Hit send request and we should see our JSON response. The final route involves almost the reverse of this. We need a new route, but this one will be a post route at user hyphen info. Let's head back into rested so we can see what the request is going to look like. Change the URL to be localhost colon 8080 slash user hyphen info and change the method to be post. Make sure JSON encoded is selected and then add our two parameters. The first is the name, so I'll put my name in there for now. The next parameter is our age, so add that and then set the age. I'll let you guess how old you think I am. We can then see our JSON request just below here. Note that it doesn't matter that the objects aren't in the same order as we specified, JSON doesn't care. Head back into Xcode, and this time we need to extract out our data that we're going to send. We know what our request data will look like, so let's create a struct to represent that. We can now decode our request data in our root handler.
and then return the name and age with the string. Finally, we just need to tell the root handler that we are returning a string. Now if we build and run and then head back to rested, we can send our request and see our expected response.